Hi guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to the desktop for potentially the first episode in a new series. You see, one of the most asked questions when I've been doing rules breakdowns and going over systems was, how do I create a character? So, there's been potential there for me to start up a series doing that, but I've never been quite sure how to do it. But in reading through Men in Black this week for the rules breakdown and the retro RPG, I became aware that this is a very stripped down version of the D6 system, a system I'm massively familiar with since I've been running the Star Wars game for some 20 years. So what I've done is I've got the rule book, I've got a character sheet I've downloaded off the internet and printed out to help me make up a character, and let's go through it and see how it goes. If this is popular, if you like it, then we will start doing more. We'll start doing the more popular games, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, Shadowrun, and that kind of thing, and working our way through more obscure games like Men in Black. Anyway, the character creation section starts on page 29. But basically, there's a very quick summary here, because it is a very simple system. So, divide 24 dice amongst the character's eight attributes. Reflexes, coordination, endurance, strength, knowledge, perception, confidence, and charisma. Well, there's a spelling mistake on this character sheet, because it says endurance instead of endurance. But since there's spelling mistakes on the actual proper character sheets, if we go here, we can see people have the swimming in skill. And that's on every single character sheet. They've all got swimming. Anyway, so we've got 24 points. Now in the D6 system, you can split one dice into three pips. So instead of having uh, splitting eight points between two skills equally, you could split one of the dice so you get a plus two on one of the skills and a plus one on another skill. Or you could split one dice and have plus one on three skills. But anyway, let's make a very basic sort of combat character. So, reflexes, the ability to dodge and move quickly in combat, we'll give him four points for that. Coordination, we'll give him four points for that. He's very good at sort of lockpicking, marksmanship, missile weapons, yep. Endurance, well, as a combat type, you want to do that. So let's give him four points. But we're burning through our character points. That's half of them gone already, just on three attributes. So we better rein it back a bit. We'll go three dice for his strength. So that's us up to 15. Let's give him a knowledge of two dice. He's not going to be very important on that. 17. Two dice on perception. So 19. Two dice on confidence. 21. Two dice on charisma. 23. So we've got one dice left. Let's give him a plus two on his confidence and a plus one on his strength. So that's how I spent the 24 points. Now he has seven dice to split across his skills. So we were said he's going to be a sort of gunman combat guy. So let's put two dice into his marksmanship, which brings it up to six dice total. Um, let's give him one dice in dodge. Let's make him quite intimidating. So give him two dice in that. So that's four dice on there. So that's him got through five of his points. Um, what else can we give him? Uh, climbing, jumping. Yeah, let's put one dice into each of those. So that's his seven points. So they are fives. Six dice. Um, and he's got his intimidation. All characters begin with five character points. And one fate point. So character points at five. Fate point one. Make an endurance roll and add 20 determined body points. So his endurance is four dice. We roll it. We've got eight. 13. So 33 body points, which is pretty tough for this game, especially as you'll be rolling your endurance to resist damage. Human agents move 30 feet per round. So... 30 feet move. Use of skills are optional character aspects. Equipment is determined by the director. So the director will give you weapons and equipment as will be. 
and it's just up to you to create your codename, alias, what type of character, some kind of gunman, chooses gender, age, height, weight. And that's as simple as character creation in Men in Black is. And it's really simple. You're allocating out 24 points and then 7 points. Again, you can split the skill points out if you want. So we could have added plus ones to many skills by breaking down each one dice into three pips. So he could have been good at a bunch of things, or slightly better than average. But that's it. Now obviously this was ridiculously short for a character creation session, but Men in Black's kind of like that. But if you'd like me to keep doing these kind of videos, going through Sharon 1st Edition, 2nd Edition, Dungeons & Dragons, etc., coming up to date to more modern systems, then please let me know and write in the comments below, and I will get on it, because I think this is a logical progression after I come up to date with rules breakdowns in the next couple of months. Anyway, I think I've witted on for quite long enough, so thank you very much for watching. But most of all, you look after yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.